uh, people use the term broken heart a lot, but they don't realize that it actually um, is a serious uh, problem that can happen to your heart. So what broken heart syndrome is, is what we call stress cardiomyopathy. Um, this is when the heart becomes suddenly weak, um, and it's without an explanation other than profound stress and the effect that the stress has on your body. Um, so patients with broken heart syndrome often come in very sick, like they've had a heart attack. And that's what we do is we rule out a heart attack in these patients, and we find that the coronary artery don't have any blockages to explain a heart attack, then we take our investigation one step further and we say, well, hey, why does a patient look this way? And we find that their heart becomes very weak. And if there's not another explanation for this, um, then we, we dig in and we say, hey, what were the stressors um, in your life? And what we often find is that patients have had a serious stressful event, such as the death of a loved one, uh, the death of a pet, uh, or in the case of our study, we looked at the um, risk of getting stress cardiomyopathy during the first two months of the COVID pandemic. And we found that four to five times more people were coming in with this problem than prior to the COVID pandemic. So, um, so uh, this is, um, we think, an effect of the COVID pandemic uh, on our heart health due to the stress that it's causing. None of the patients in our study actually had COVID-19. Uh, these were just patients that were coming in uh, with weakened heart muscles um, and all of them said that they were very um, stressed and kind of overwhelmed uh, with uh, the situation that we're all facing. It was a common, common theme that, um, you know, patients were coming in uh, with this problem and saying, I just, I just felt completely overwhelmed with the situation. And, you know, maybe this just raises the level of anxiety that people have and then other things that maybe wouldn't be quite as stressful otherwise, then just tip them over the edge. Um, because we all have this, this background of just heightened anxiety because of the situation. So I think it's very important that we are mindful of that and we take steps to take care of ourselves and each other during this time, um, surround ourselves with, with family and friends in a safe way, and um, don't ignore our symptoms. Because a lot of patients, they will avoid hospitals during this time and um, they will have true heart attacks and they won't seek care when they need it. And that, that's another serious consequence of the COVID pandemic. We found that although the rates of true heart attack were going down during this time, the rates of distressed cardiomyopathy or broken heart were going up. So people really were avoiding the hospital when they really needed it because those patients are still out there. They're just not seeking medical care, but the ones that are seeking medical care tend to be the ones with the broken heart syndrome. Um, so it, it all added up to about a four to five times increase in the incidence of broken heart syndrome during the first two months of the COVID pandemic. So the average age of someone with stress cardiomyopathy, it tends to be younger than patients uh, who have a true heart attack. And again, really, when patients come in, they look like they're, like, like they're having a heart attack. And until you rule it out, that's what you, you know, need to do is treat patients as if they're having a heart attack. Patients with a heart attack tend to be older, tend to be elderly. Um, however, it can affect people in their 50s and 60s or even younger if they have a genetic um, or a family history of this. Patients with stress cardiomyopathy uh, tend to be younger. Um, however, it can overlap with any age. So in, in, our, in our study, um, the average age of patients tend to be a little bit younger. Um, you know, I personally treated patients in their 30s uh, with this problem. Um, however, I have also treated patients in their 70s and 80s and, and older. Although this isn't a heart attack, it's still a serious problem. Uh, patients can come in with, with severely weakened heart function. Oftentimes this recovers pretty quickly, but sometimes it can persist for a while. We manage patients with medications and oftentimes they have a complete recovery, um, but sometimes they are left with um, some residual uh, heart dysfunction or at least a predisposition to getting this again. But the good news is that most people do make a full recovery. Um, it's just important to uh, manage your stress and just be all the more aware of your symptoms and the triggers of what set this off. Uh, if there are certain uh, uh, circumstances that may have um, uh, pr you know, been present when this happened, you just want to try to avoid putting yourself in that situation again, or, or maybe seek um, some assistance from a mental health standpoint to make sure that your anxiety is controlled and that depression is treated. And these, are, these are very serious problems. And um, you know, the big message here is that um, the, the mind has a serious effect on the body, um, and you can have physical consequences of having um, extreme stress. It's very important to just manage that, to take care of yourselves, um, 
really to take care of each other during this time.